A new type of solid liquid separation equipment, ceramic filter, is characteristic of high degree of automation, low power consumption, little moisture of cake, clear filtrate, and so on. Microporous ceramic plate, pervious to water but impervious to air, is used in the ceramic filter as a filtering medium. The vacuum in the ceramic filtering plate is extracted through the vacuum system to produce the pressure difference between the internal and external environment. This way, the suspended solid materials in the tank will be absorbed under the negative pressure to the ceramic filter plate. The solid materials, unable to pass through the tiny holes on the microporous ceramic filtering plate, are detained on the surface of the plate. They are transported by the rotating drum through the water absorption and drying areas, where they are collected by the ceramic scraper and then delivered to the bunker. The liquid, however, will successfully flow into the ceramic plate as a result of the difference in vacuum pressure and the hydrophilia of ceramic filtering plate, and then it will pass through the pipeline and reach the vacuum tank through the distributor. Once rising to a certain level, the liquid collected in the vacuum tank will automatically discharge into the filtrating pool for recycling. This way, the purpose of solid liquid separation is achieved. Before the next round of solid liquid separation, after the material feeding and discharging process, the ceramic filtering plate will pass the backwashing area, where it will get backwashing of the residual solid materials remaining in the holes and on the plate surface from inside to outside by the clear water with pressure from the backwashing pipeline. One hour of online cleaning of the ceramic filter is needed after every seven hours of operation. After cleaning up the residual materials in the basin, clear water is filled into the basin. When the ceramic filtering plate rotates and passes the backwashing area, the incrustation and residual materials remaining in the ceramic filtering plate will undergo thorough washing by the clear water from the backwashing pipeline and the dilute nitric acid added by the acid pump to the pipeline. The backwashing process is followed by ultrasonic cleaning where ultrasonic amplitude is used to vibrate and wash the ceramic filtering plate surface for one hour. Then there comes the next filtering process. about the installation. Prepare base of the equipment. Prepare the base, which generally stands 3.5 meters high, according to the drawings. Steel plates are placed into the base for welding and fixing the equipment. Slurry pools slightly larger than the basin of filter should be constructed beside the base for equipment washing or emergency material discharging in case of equipment failure. Equipment hoisting and positioning. Lifting tools are used to lift the entire equipment onto the base, followed by leveling and welding the equipment. Build a work platform. Once positioning of the ceramic filter is in position, a work platform should be built around the equipment with a gap of 20 millimeters. External pipeline connection. Slurry feeding pipe overflowing and slurry discharging pipelines backwashing and basin washing pipelines vacuum tank liquid discharging pipelines filtrate pump draining pipelines and acid preparing pipelines for more information please see the pipeline installation drawings provided by the company the electric circuit connection Place the automatic control cabinet to where the circuit connection is easy to operate and then connect various electrical control switches in the automation control cabinet to the equipment. After installation of the entire equipment, there comes equipment debugging such as electric test, air test, and water test and testing operation.